So, Commissioner, I'll just do a quick introduction uh, of Tom and the uh, uh, and Heather uh, Berlinski from SC Johnson. Um, so, just for for everybody's um, knowledge and some context, uh, about a year ago, Tom had reached out to me um, and uh, had an opportunity for us to uh, work with him and and Heather uh, at SC Johnson on a pilot program uh, to collect plastic film, um, recycle plastic film, uh, which is uh, if you're anything like me. Uh, you know, those uh, <clears throat> things like Ziploc bags and other other plastic uh, dry cleaning bags and things like that, uh, they do it end up in your regular recycling where they don't belong. Uh, but now they have a, an option to uh, actually recycle those materials. And so we've been working on this for uh, the past several months. And um, they have a, a presentation and can answer questions for us on this. Uh, the program is going to live predominantly in the city of Shelton. Um, and they're very enthusiastic about the opportunity to work with SC Johnson on it. Uh, and it's going to be administered uh, through Mason County Garbage Waste Connections. Um, and our component, as you'll hear in the presentation, is storing and shipping the material. Um, and so it's really an exciting opportunity for the community to pilot this and to uh, hopefully see uh, an opportunity to, to build from there. And so just uh, a lot of thanks to Tom and Heather. Uh, as well as Chad uh, White and Tom Rupert from uh, Waste Connections uh, working with us on this. So uh, with that, uh, Tom and Heather, I'll, I'll kick it over to you. And I think uh, Heather maybe is going to be doing a screen share to, to walk through their presentation. I think she has That's a, correct. that. Okay. Yeah. And and just side note here, if need be, I can share, share the screen. But Heather, I think, is prepared to do that uh, as long as she's got the administrative uh, clearance to do that on your end. Um, so yeah, Kevin, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. So uh, Kevin gave a really good snapshot there. My name is uh, Tom Gurr. I'm a, a local consultant. I work in public affairs and, and um, uh, we have been uh, working with SC Johnson uh, to create opportunities for pilot programs with municipal uh, governments around the state for the last uh, year or two here, a couple years here. And um, had a chance to visit with Kevin about this here. Oh, I don't know, gosh, a year or so ago, year and a half ago, and and we've been uh, really working through all of the logistics and and coming to a uh, coming to a a, uh, a consensus on how best we can we can accomplish that. And and it is a blend of of really a program that's in the city, but will also include components from the county. And and um, uh, this is something that, as Heather will will talk about, that is happening around the country. Uh, that is a major initiative by SC Johnson. And uh, it's, it's uh, I think, a tremendous opportunity for, uh, for your community and uh, to really be one of, the, one of the few at the front of the, of the line here because we've only done a few of these around the country and, and um, they've been very successful and, and uh, we're, we're thrilled that we have the opportunity with you guys. So uh, with that, I'll turn it over to, to Heather and she can go into the presentation and, and uh, let's just make sure she can share her screen. Heather, our... Um, Give us an update there on your screen sharing. Sure. Uh, good morning, commissioners, um, and thank you for this opportunity, and thank you for um, those introductions, Commissioner Chetty and Tom. Um, as Tom mentioned, uh, I work for SC Johnson, and this is a, an initiative that we are spearheading um, across the United States, where we have partnerships um, in several states where we are looking to advance a conversation about film recycling, um, which we have seen has been challenging um, over the last decade or so um, in order to make substantial improvements. So we, we have made a company decision that we want to help contribute to these advancements. And, and that's what this program um, is designed to do. And it's spearheaded off of um, several other commitments that we've made um, and existing pilots um, that we are currently uh, uh, working through. Um, Tom uh, mentioned we've been working in the state of Washington for several years, um, and we actually have a successful program um, that we partnered on in Point Roberts, Washington, um, which was uh, the second program that we um, supported in the United States. Um, so we've had some success um, uh, here on the West Coast, and we also have uh, programs that we're running on the East Coast and are, are really excited um, to bring a new program um, to the city of Shelton um, and really appreciate uh, the partnership with Commissioner Shadi to um, initiate that, um, see the vision of the program um, and help make the 
logistics work um, given the, the local, um, uh, the way your existing collection um, works. So let me share my screen now. Um, and if someone can just verify that that is presenting. It's working. Got it. Perfect. Um, so I believe you should have received um, these handouts um, in advance. So I won't be going through them in great detail, but um, are definitely happy to answer questions, um, spend a little bit more time on areas where um, you have questions or want clarification. Um, but as I mentioned, this, this program is designed around the challenge right now as to how plastic film gets recycled in the United States. It is a material type that has grown in popularity um, over the last decade or so. As you can see here, there's a statistic that 3 billion pounds of plastic film is generated um, in the United States every year. Um, and plastic film is a recyclable material, and the common way that it is recycled right now is through what, what you're probably familiar with, retail store take-back programs, where there's about 18 thousand of those stores um, that have little kiosks um, where you can bring your plastic film back um, for recycling. And we have been, as a company, we've supported that initiative, um, supported the creation of those programs, support, you know, continue to support investment in expansion. Um, but as we've done studies about participation rates and whether residents are actually remembering to bag up their film and, you know, remembering to put it in the car and remembering to bring it back to the store whenever they go to the store. Um, unfortunately, that that work that it takes um, to do all that process is resulting in a very low participation rate in which residents um, recycle this this material type, um, where it's recycled at a rate of only about 4%, um, which means that 96% of film is likely ending up um, within the waste stream and thereby going to landfill. Um, so we, we want to change that narrative uh, about film and about how it is utilized for recycling. Um, and our, our mission is really to promote and create a more circular vision for plastic film. Um, and you can see a couple of examples of programs that we're sponsoring um, throughout the United States to help support this vision. One are the, the curbside programs, um, which is what we hope to kick off with the city of Shelton. Um, the second one that you can see is uh, technology advancements, which we have helped invest in to help improve uh, sortation capability of film within large um, material recycling facilities. And the third little image um, is a nod to advancements in and markets and where film is utilized um, when, when it is recycled. Um, so this is just another slide showing, you know, our vision that material that is on the market gets recycled, gets reprocessed and turned back into usable recycled material that can go back into the stream of commerce, um, either through new packaging or through durable goods um, through that end market stream. These are examples of existing programs where we have sponsored um, similar programs to what we're looking to sponsor in the city of Shelton. Um, every program is, is designed to fit within an existing community's existing collection so that it's easily integrated, works within the existing pickup stream. Um, so we do spend a lot of time making sure we understand that process and work collaboratively with the community so that um, residents are, are interested in participating and participate. And this slide showcases um, a summary of how the program um, is currently shaping up to, to coordinate with the city of Shelton and Mason County. Um, we're targeting a start date around summer of 2021. Um, we, we are working through Waste Connections on when exactly that start date will be. Um, it's, it's our understanding based on communication with them. They have some hiring challenges right now that they are working through. Um, and once they're able to 
move through those issues, um, we'll be able to secure a date when we can start the program. Um, but they've participated with us in the conversations about the design of the program and are, and are ready and willing to, to implement it um, once we can lock in that date. Um, we've identified two curbside routes within the existing collection pickup, um, which are a prime candidate um, for this uh, pickup opportunity. And the program itself will run for a six month period. Um, the residents within that exist, those existing routes will be getting curbside dedicated bins that have uh, the city of Shelton um, branded on that bin. And they also reference um, that it is for film materials only. Um, and the residents will then be given instructions on when a monthly pickup for that material will take place. Um, and Waste Connections will do the curbside pickup um, on the frequency that works for those routes and um, will then deposit the collected material at um, a location uh, coordinated by Mason County. And once um, the collected material reaches uh, a dedicated quantity, it will then be prepared for shipment to an end market, which we've helped facilitate. And we work with, um, with other programs that we've worked with in this region. And, um, that's the summary of kind of how the how the program will run, how the residents will be educated. Um, and, you know, just in, in summary, we're, we're really excited um, to be at this stage um, where we've worked through these details um, and have the, the support from the city and the support from the county um, to move forward a program like this. Um, and we're, we're really excited to, to move forward to the final phase where we can initiate the program um, and and hopefully have the residents uh, value um, that added service. And happy to take any questions. I think that's my last slide. Um, any questions uh, from commissioners on, on any of that content? I have a few for you, Heather. Uh, first of all, you, you mentioned that waste collection will be doing the work. You guys will be paying for this, this, and this. Uh, who's going to pay uh, waste and you know, connections for their time, their effort, and uh, the stuff the, they're, doing, they're doing. And, um, you know, is there any charge to the solid waste entities right now for any of this? Yeah, so through the pilot program, um, we actually are entering into a, a partnership agreement with both the county and the city. Um, and the, the partnership agreement aligns out kind of the parameters that I just talked about when the collection occurs and how the collection occurs. Um, but it also includes an, a provision where we are gonna help um, defray some of those implementation costs for the program in order for the facilitation of the program. So we're gonna make some financial commitments to help um, pay for those collection bins. Um, we're also gonna help support waste connections um, through their costs um, to pick up the material on that monthly frequency. So that is built into the program in order to ensure um, that, they, that it is feasible for them um, and that the, the cost is not a barrier. What is the final expectation that you're hoping to find? Uh, is there, are you looking to create a situation where we have another bin in everybody's yard and they pay a fee in order to do this? Uh, or you know, you're looking just to uh, break even with the commodity itself? What, what's the end hope? Yeah, so really the end goal is to um, showcase that residents uh, will successfully recycle film um, on a much higher frequency when it is uh, easier for them to recycle, that we see a high participation rate um, by having film uh, be recycled through a curbside program. Um, because of the way your existing collection program works, um, the, the concept was uh, designed to have a separate bin. Um, I will say in, in all communities, we don't, um, 
we don't sponsor just that that method. Um, we have other communities where they don't have a separate bin and it's collected in a different way. Um, but through our conversations with Waste Connections and how their existing collection works, um, they they wanted to see this separate bin um, for the material pickup. So that that's kind of why it was designed that way. Um, but I will say it's it it's probably the right way to go because film um, can uh, be contaminated, I, I think is the term you would use if it is commingled with other dirtier uh, recyclable materials. Um, so having that dedicated container makes it more um, pure and, and uh, more readily available for recycling. Um, so it is, it is a good method um, to utilize for film. Um, and, and that's why we chose it that way. What about the final expectation to the customer? Are we expecting that uh, we're going to be asking them to pay an additional $5 a month for pickup uh, or $10, something like that? Is that the actual final uh, thing? And this is a new requirement, burden, whatever term you want to put on the on the citizen? Or Yeah, an added, um, an added material that's adopted into the curbside program. That, that would be our ultimate you know, hope is that communities such as yourself do um, add the material as a required um, material to be picked up. But the, the, the program right now is, is simply in a pilot phase. It, it's not turned on for the whole community. It's, it's only going to run for um, a, a dedicated amount of time. And there's going to be some metrics collected throughout the, the program to see whether residents um, are receiving the program well, are participating at a high rate um, and to see if they 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 value that service um, through our program that we initiated with Point Roberts um, that program ran for a year um, and the community did decide that they wanted to continue their collection um, after uh, our year partnership with them. Um, and they got approval through um, the UTC and actually um, did find that they had a reduction to their recycling um, service fee for residents because they were taking that amount of material out of the waste stream, thereby reducing the tipping fee that is paid on that material. Um, so there was, you know, it's, it's nothing to write home about, but but there was a measurable, um, I think it was, Tom can correct me, I think it was about 43 cents. Um, so in that program and in that case, I, I can't say that's gonna be replicated here, um, you know, until we get into the details on it. But in, in that community, we were able to showcase that there was at least a, uh, cost reduction or um, no added uh, fee for the community um, to continue their program. Thank you. And I would, I would just, if I, if I could just add to that, I, I think the important part of this is, um, you know, a lot of this is, is going to be a future conversation with Waste Connections on, you know, how successful this program was or, or wasn't. And we won't know that until, you know, we do the pilot and see what the response in the community is, but there would be the, the mechanisms to, um, uh, you know, expand what we recycle, you know, would have to, would have to be discussed both, you know, at the county level, but certainly since this is happening in the city, you know, for their services, they would have to, they would have to be on board with that as well as waste connections. So I think more than anything, this is an opportunity to see what the community's responsiveness is to having a chance to recycle these in a more convenient way um, versus, uh, you know, looking to expand service without any of that background. So yeah, let me, oh, sorry, if I could interject real quick, sorry. Uh, I wanna emphasize on Heather and Kevin's point that um, uh, the, the notion that it continues past the pilot is aspirational we, we we hope that that's the case but there it, that is not part of uh, i want to be clear that there is no uh agreement that that will be that that the city or the county is committing to do that post pilot i mean that we are just trying to initiate a pilot that aspirationally we would love to see have value for the community but by no means is there a commitment that that's going to happen 
Uh, I want to I want to be clear about that. So uh, we think there's value in it. We think it's a great thing that um, uh, we hope you'll see value in it as well. But 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 you're not committing to a to to some sort of a extension uh, after the pilot. Yeah, and and commissioners, just so for your own knowledge on this too. So uh, Tom had sent over. Um, it finally kind of worked its way through their process of an MOU that would outline uh, the parameters of the program um, just this morning, as well as some of the cost sharing. Um, and for our component, um, our costs would be minimal and, and, um, and those are all kind of outlined in the, uh, in the MOU and what uh, I believe um, SC Johnson would cover our costs um, because they are so minimal um, that there would be for the pilot, no cost to the county. Um, but that's currently with Tim Whitehead, and um, I just I forwarded that over this morning, and we'll get the commissioners uh, a copy of that as well. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah. So you said that there's there'll be 270 20 gallon containers. Where will those be placed? I know I know in the city of Shelton, but are they in uh, based in communities? Will there be a central spot for the community to go to? How how will that be designed? So that's going to be our initial um, purchase of the dedicated film bins. And it's our understanding that Waste Connections will then communicate to residents that are on these routes where the pilot will take place. And those residents will indicate if they'd like to have a, a bin. Um, and when they indicate that, then Waste Connections will um, drop off the bins that will then um, be their bin, uh, their residential bin, and it'll it'll be just like their existing recycling bin um, that they'll put out on the frequency in which the pickup occurs. Um, so once it is delivered to that resident household, it, it'll remain at their household. That makes sense. Thank you. I'll be curious to see what you come up with, what, what this looks like at the, at the end. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. There's so many times that I wish I could recycle bags, but um, and other items too. But taking, you know, I'm lazy, and so <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to to remind yourself and to to put it in a separate place in your house. And I I I do it myself, and sometimes I have a lot piled up in the trunk that I always forget. <laughs> or you're cleaning out your garage, and you go. Oh. Forgot yeah. about that one. <laughs> I'm amazed at how much film I end up getting, but I, you know, I have a huge family though. So between everybody ordering everything and yeah. to come and film everything I get uh, that I pick up this large has, seems to have some type of film on it. I'll be curious to see what it looks like in the end. Um, although I'm not a fan of programs that's gonna cost the community more money. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm definitely open-minded to see if it is greatly uh, a great benefit. Uh, we can't turn our, our nose up to things that we don't know about yet. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Chair, just one other thing. Uh, uh, Chad White and Tom Rupert are on the on the line, and I didn't know if we maybe just wanted to hear from them. I would. Uh, would Chad, on Would one of you like to? Can you uh, go ahead and stop sharing? You want me to stop it, or? I'll I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. There we go. This way I can see everybody's faces better. Uh, would one of you guys like would like to speak up at the moment? Chad, uh, you interested in talking? There you are. Sure. What would you? I mean, like she was talking about, you know, yeah, the carts would be sharing. The carts would be stored here um, and then just delivered, you know, for customers that want them. Um, and you know, yeah, we ready to do this, fully ready to do this, but uh, kind of had an unforeseen events or we're a couple a couple head short right now so uh just looking for some drivers right now and that's been a little difficult so as soon as we can get get a hold of some drivers we'll be back in the driver's seat as far as having the manpower to do this so thomas uh do you have anything you wanted to add no, I think uh, Chad covered it fa fairly well. Um, as far as the logistics of the carts, we've isol we've identified two routes, separate routes in the uh, Shelton area. Uh, like like uh, it was said before, we'll send out flyers, see who's interested, and off we go. Yeah, 
if you don't mind, share the list of what stuff would be allowed uh, with the commission as well. I'm curious to see exactly what the what the, the breakdown is to see how much of the stuff that I get piled up would actually be going into it. Again, you'd be surprised how much I have. Uh, my garage sometimes will be filled with stuff that just, it feels wrong just to throw it all away that way, but there's not much other option. And then on top of that, it also uses up that space in the trash can I need so bad. So I would probably pay to have it go somewhere else. So rather than be wasted also. Just real quick, will this take a, a special truck, a different truck than what you already have, Chad? No, no we'll use current trucks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. I just, to just real quick, just give a lot of credit to to Heather, Chad, and and um, you know for really everybody putting their heads together on how to make this work. I think uh, it's went through multiple iterations, and you know, well, how would it, how would it work if we did this, or how would it work if we did that? And just um, really, really impressed with um, everybody coming together and, and trying to work through those issues to get us to the point where we're able to to put an MOU in front of both the um, both the, the county commission and the city council for consideration to do this. And um, I think it's a really exciting educational opportunity for the community as well as, as you know, Mason County Garbage is out there talking about this or, you know, to their customers or SC Johnson is doing promotional work in the community to be able to talk to, talk to the community about, um, you know, the effect that a program like this could have, or if, if you know, if, what happens to that stuff when you when you drop it in the trash and, and walk away from it um, and, and it gets out there? So, just really appreciate all the all the effort and look forward to getting the commission the MOU once uh, once we're done here. Thank you. Anything further? All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. We very much appreciate it. Thank and you. I'm sure you'll be hearing more as uh, the MOU works its way through the process. Sounds good. Thank you.